This is a tutorial on the conquest of your first province. This video will demonstrate. Tyrion, heir of Anarion. To capture his home province of Ete, he must contend with the Cult of Excess. The Cult has a standing army of 9 units on a 6 unit garrison, bringing its entire defensive force to 15 units versus our meager 8. I move my army up to the border and encamp to give my army stat bonuses in the event that the cult sallies forth. Additionally, if we win the battle, we'll have a higher replenishment rate. The stance is not as important as the recruitment, however. I add one spearman unit to supplement my front line and a couple more range for damage. I manage my small empire and end the turn. Two notes. Firstly, the AI did not attack and chose to begin recruiting. Secondly, the Shrine of Azurian was in ruins just before, and yet now it's colonized. This means that the cult has an extra lord on that side of the bay. This is ideal as it prevents us from having to spend the money and replenishment to do it ourselves. For now, we attack the Tower of Lysian. We place our archers on a hill overlooking the battlefield, guarded by our infantry and lords, while the cavalry will run ahead and hide in a grove as the Dark Elves march forward. The archers focus their fire to instantly destroy a Dark Shard, during which my cavalry flanks to disrupt the remaining Dark Shards. I place my characters on the edges to catch out a couple melee units apiece, preventing the enemy from moving forward and surrounding our minor front line. At this point I send my White Lions into the fray as they have no missile protection and will suffer greatly against the Dark Shard's armor-piercing volleys. As the second Dark Shard is eliminated by my ranged coordination, I send down my Spearmen to support the encircled White Lions. The cavalry ties down three Dark Shards across the field with rotating charges, while a third Dark Shard is obliterated by my range. I redirect my range on the blobs of infantry around my characters for some easy AoE. As the battle progresses, my white lions rout as four of the cult's infantry are removed from my sight. With their leader exposed, I collapse my characters on this target and divert my ranged units to relieve my struggling spearmen. spearmen we go. I detach my cavalry from their harassment and return them to the front line to deal the killing blow on the Dark Elves' morale. Always remember to kill the enemy lord if you can for bonus gold and then move on. Occupy the tower and hopefully you'll earn yourself some useful items from your victory. By assuring shield against the darkness. I grab route marcher just to be sure I can reach my targets in good time, but truth be told you may not need it. Feel free to try the strat without the extra 10% movement range, and comment below if it made a difference. Since we have casualties, I choose a bonus to replenishment from the noble skills. Finally, recruit at the end of the turn. I chose to extend my front line evenly, and topped it off with an additional archer for further damage. Now we move to the eastern coast. We can reach Angeriel from Lothurn, so we garrison the army for a larger heal, bonus to public order, and recruitment. It would take two turns to reach our target anyway, so let's make the most of this travel time. Attack! Kill them! For my queen!
On this field, there is a small elven village obstructing our path. We use this to extend the defensive line for our archers. We place our archers behind our spearmen, cavalry on both flanks, Tyrion poses, and it's time to kill. The Black Art Corsairs can fire in any direction while moving, making them nuisances for our melee. They have no shield, however, so our archers get to work on the edges of the Dark Elf formation. Once again, the characters run ahead to blob the AI's infantry, our lions got shredded, so we pull them back. The chariots make a quick pass to assist the front line while the silver helms overstay their welcome in the back. Now it's just a case of mopping up stragglers. Make it rain on the Lord for that sweet extra bling and finish him off with a civilized decapitation. And that's almost it. Recruit whatever you want at this point and end the turn. No mercy. Finished the provincial conquest with the destruction of the Cult of Excess at the Shrine of Azurian that they so graciously colonized for us. There is glory to be won. And in five turns, you have captured your home province of Eten as Tyrion. Claim anything of value to victory. Tyrion, bear Venere. If you found this helpful or entertaining, pray to the Omnisaya and give that YouTube machine spirit a like, sub, and comment below so that the God Emperor of Man will forge my channel into a gaming Imperator Titan. Check out my live stream and other links in the video description. Peace.